Hello YouTubers, my name is Nix V, this is the new Arriva and you are in St. Petersburg and on the channel for those who love my inline skating and wants to progress in it. And today we will start talking about jumping on inline skates. I will show you the first and very simple jump that can be used a lot in the city and will be your first step to the more advanced solid jumps on inline skates that we will be talking about in my next videos. Jumping on skates is a very challenging thing. Although the technique is not that difficult, usually the problem is in psychology. The thing is that skaters depend a lot from the surface, from the incline, from the relief, from the pavement and so on. While we are skating almost always, at least one of our feet is touching the ground. So when the skater loses that connection with the surface, it almost definitely means that in the next moment he will fall. That's why jumping on inline skates can sometimes cause fear or even a panic. Let's take a closer look at it. Here I am skating and making my jump. And this is where the panic starts. Oh my god, I'm in air! I don't feel the surface! I will fall! Oh my god! At that moment you start making that strange moves with your arms, like that one I'm trying to fly higher, or that one I'm trying to go in back to the surface as fast as possible. And of course that moves doesn't help you. You're not a bird, you're not a bat, you're not even a pterodactyl. Probably you are a superman, but superman doesn't use his arms while flying. By the way, if you are a superman, hit the like button and leave a comment. Let's find out how many supermen are watching my channel. So that strange arm swings doesn't help you at all. What they really do is they can unbalance your body and you can fall. If you are making like that, you can fall on your back or even on your back hat and probably you will die. If you are making like this, you can make a much worse thing. You can fall on your face and ruin your makeup. So the first and the main rule of any jumping is do not jerk with your arms. I'm not kidding. I will show you how to use arms while jumping, how to make the good proper swing in my next videos. But today I will show you the simple jump that will allow you to minimize the time when you are not touching the surface with your feet and any way to make a jump. This is a, some kind of a hop, like this. You can see that my feet almost don't leave the ground, but this is a very useful move. You can use it to skate through some cracks in the asphalt, through some small puddles, you can use it while you are crossing the tramway rails when you need a series of small hops one after another. What it also gives you is that proper feeling of the squat before the jump and after the landing, like that. Okay, if you are doing it right you will hear the proper landing sound and that will be the landing that will be with you with any no spin jumps in inline skating. So how to do it? Each jump starts with a squat, but for this jump you don't need a very deep squat. If you are already skating in the basic stance, you just need to make it a little bit deeper and you can initiate the jump. So you are raising your body and your hands very gently, almost only with your elbows. For me it usually looks like I'm going to scratch my nose. Yeah, I have a big nose, almost a half of my face, like this, like this. You are strengthening your legs and you already know that in order to keep balance on skates, you have to move more on your heels. So the same is here. You are rising up the toes of your skates and your heels are moving a little bit to the front. Okay, as soon as you have strengthened your legs, you have to go back to your initial position, to that squat. And in order to save your knees, so they will not hurt in the future, you have to make that squat a little bit deeper. 
to amortize it a little bit. So that's very simple. Squat, scratch your nose and back into the position. And that's all. In the next tutorial we will talk about how to make your jumps higher and longer. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. Hit the bell button to not miss the notifications. Hit the thumbs up if you liked that video. You can also support me financially with a new YouTube tool that is called Super Like. That will be very helpful because while shooting the additional footage for that video I've broken my 360 cam. Yep, I need a new camera. Many thanks in advance. Share that video in your social media with your friends, colleagues, parents and kids. See you next time. Bye.